Lonely Bato YouTube just coming at you with another video. Um, gold prices have been up in the last few weeks, but they came down a little bit today. So I stopped by my local coin shop and decided to make some purchases. So uh, in no particular order here, let's take a look at what I picked up. Um, first up, I got this uh, kind of cool little uh, silver bar here, the Winchester 18... Uh, 73 or whatever it is the gun that won the west as it were so uh you know a lot of guns say they are that but um anyways nothing on the back but like the like that it's a gun like that it's uh nicely toned so uh what the heck i bought it all right here's a uh, another one i bought a one ounce pure silver uh, I don't know if there's anything remarkable about it other than, let's see, what's it say? 200 years of independence. I don't know that there's a brand on this or anything, but um, I really like the toning and uh, the Eagle's pretty cool. It's got a serial number. Looks pretty uh, old and grimy. I like it. Um, let's see. Next up, I got one of these. Uh, angle hard which are not particularly uh valuable or whatever but you know everybody needs to have at least one angle hard bar so boom i got one now it's probably pretty recent um nothing special but it's an angle hard now this one i kind of kind of like it's a uh let's see if we can get 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 you a view of it this is an amark bar um you, just for size comparison, you can see how it looks next to uh, next to the Engelhard, and uh, thickness-wise, you can see it's uh, it's like trapezoidal or something. And uh, um, anyways, unusual size and that sort of thing that caught my eye. I know people like Amark, and uh, I do too. This is a nice one. Um, happy with this little this little guy. All right, let's see. And then I bought one of these 10 ounce Monarch Precious Metals. I think everybody's got these, uh, but I didn't have one. Uh, so I go, went ahead and bought one. They're pretty cool. Uh, let's see, next up, I got one of these CMIs. I know that other people have had these and I don't have one. And this is the cool Lofi style and whatever, I bought it. Here's an Academy Ford Silver. I think this one's pretty recent. I don't think it's particularly um, special or anything like that. But again, it's nice to have some uh, poured metal. All right, so that's the junk silver. Let's see. What should I show you guys next? All right. So I bought... Um, I've been wanting to get one of these. This is the only one they had, uh, Mexican Onza. Um, it's got some bag dingers and whatnot on it. It's not in particularly uh, nice shape. Um, but it is a, uh, an Onza, which is cool. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll take it, why not? It wasn't that expensive. Got another one of these uh, Hidalgos. This one has some uh, pretty good luster on it. Um, let's see, I think the back looked better. Um, but yeah, I like these. I really like the Mexican stuff for whatever reason. Funny, the uh, guy at the local coin shop says he hates the Mexican stuff because there's so much of it that uh, looking it up for pricing is, is a pain. Now this one really looks good. This is a really nice looking one. I don't even know what it is, but I just it just caught my eye because it's got it's got really great luster, cartwheels, all that stuff. Um, one of these uh, Olympic jobbies, whatever they are. So I bought one of them. And uh, I bought one of these as well. Again, I'm not even sure what I got here, but uh, I like them a lot. They're just kind of, I think Mexico's got, got the, the coolest old coins. 
um, really a lot of detail, um, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, this one's kind of toned up a little bit, and more than the others at least. You can see it next to the others. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> so, Palladium is at kind of a relative low right now. I mean, it's been a little bit lower, but it wasn't that much lower for very long. So, I finally went ahead and bought one of these uh, um, Canadian Palladiums. What the heck? I don't see a lot of you guys with this type of stuff, but um, here, here's one, 2009. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Queen, so I'll keep the, the good side up. But, um, it's in pretty good shape. So yeah, I've never owned an Palladium. But um, I don't own platinum either until uh, I don't I don't, I don't own platinum yet. But I also got another palladium uh, coin. Oh, this is the cool stuff right here. Now, I paid kind of a pretty penny for this one. It was six seventy five, which is good amount of premium on there. But um, it's a nineteen ninety uh, Russian uh, ballerina. These are palladium, so uh, pretty cool stuff. I, I don't see anybody else with one of these uh, really if on YouTube or none of the guys I'm following have them or I've shown videos or that I've seen. That's uh, pretty interesting stuff. All right, I got one more coin in here. I have to take it out of the flip. This guy's a baby though. <laughs> These little little two and a half pesos are just hilarious. They're really tiny. I don't think you have an idea how small they are. Let me let me put it next to a dime to give you perspective. <sighs> there it is next to a, a junk dime. Not even a junk dime, a really junk dime. Yeah, this is clad. At any rate, um these little guys are really small and you know there's nothing particularly special about them but i just kind of like to buy some mexican stuff here and there anyways um that's that's what i bought today so um thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this please uh like uh, or or rate comment and subscribe